caddisflies like to live in small headwater streams and they like slow moving water, not too fast, but good aeration, lots of leaf litter. The first thing I try to focus on are leaves that have been eaten on, where well, there's lots of, and here's one right on the leaf as I picked it up. It took three years of developing our lab to simulate a native natural stream. The caddisfly is like a caterpillar, only they're an aquatic caterpillar. As a larva in the stream, you're very vulnerable to being eaten, preyed on by lots of different critters. So as soon as these larvae hatch from their egg masses, they immediately start protecting them, building a protective case around them. So once we got them to, to live long enough, you know, and to survive in our simulated streams, I started giving them stones, and they were building with it. And we went from aquarium gravel to turquoise to malachite to opals, and it was amazing because they're little stonemasons. Each cocoon is built individually. And so one caddisfly puts each one of these stones on one at a time. It's their own unique design, it's their own style. After we realized that the caddisflies would actually build with different stones, I mean, the sky was the limit. I went to the rock shop and started buying little pieces of turquoise and garnet and malachite. We'd given them diamonds and um, rubies and emeralds, and, and it's their own creation. You know, it's a beautiful piece of artwork that you can tell a story with. And if people are shy at parties, I go, well, just tell them about your jewelry and you'll be the hit of the party. <laughs>